Hello YouTube and welcome to session four of the Apple Teacher Professional Development Program with the badges for iPad. Today we're going to look at the, learning the basics of numbers. So I'm going to go open numbers. I'm going to go to a blank, create a, pr a spreadsheet. And I have different templates I can use. So I can use blank ones, a checklist, some finance, some calendar or schedules, recipe, all sorts of things in here. So I'm just going to go to this blank one. And I can now populate this table if I wanted to, or I can delete it entirely up to you. I can add on more columns by clicking this button here. I can add on more rows by clicking this one here. And I can populate this however I like in the exact same way as I would with another spreadsheet software. So on. There are many other things I can do with this, however. I can add in formulas in the same way as I could in other software. If I double tap, I have the option to press the equals, which is the formula button. And then it gives me my formula information at the bottom. I can obviously add text. I can add in other features. If I go to this format button, I can format it, for example, as a pop-up menu or a checkbox. This one's quite useful. So if I highlight, for example, this column, I go to checkbox. These are all now checks. I could, I'm going to add this column as a, a slider. So I can now slide between 0 and 100. You can change the parameters of that. I could make it a stepper. So I can just tap between them all. I could add in, what else can I add in? Pop-up menu, put in your different items. I want to start with blank, and I click on it, it then gives me the option, item two, item one, item three, so on. It could be very useful. Obviously, you can create charts in this, but I don't use it in that way, I use it in different ways. So, for example, I could add in another tab at the top, press the plus, a new sheet, and I have two different sheets, in the same document. Why is that useful, you might ask? You can create some excellent documents using, for example, this one here. They have an All About Me page, they have some reflection pages, and also I've put in is some boxes uh, and some text boxes over the top. I've put an image gallery in, I've put a, a, but, a reflection button, I've put an icon, and this is all just using the skills that you already know from using pages and keynotes. Exactly the same. In here, it's slightly different, I've put in some formulas. So, for example, I've put in a formula in here that says, have they met their target or not? So, if this my target was 123 and I scored 145, then yes, it automatically says yes because I've put a formula in. If it's lower than that, for example, 102, no, it isn't correct. At the bottom, it will automatically populate a graph. So, for example, in term 2, imagine I've gone to 130. My target was 120. So I, I, well now, if I go across, you can see that information it has the same benchmark. It has some different formulas. You can create documents like this for your students. You can also create worksheets like this. This is a fact file I put together for students. Here's an example of what to do. And then they have five blank ones, which they can then populate on their own. When they're finished with that, they can export this as a PDF and then share it back with me. So that is everything you need to be able to use numbers. When would I use numbers rather than pages or keynote, you might ask? Well, for me, I would use numbers if I wanted to ever analyze data, if I wanted to automatically calculate something, or if I wanted to show a graph um, or a, a number of graphs, I would use numbers. If I didn't want that, I would just use pages. The other good thing with this is it has unlimited space. So if you're wanting them to be really creative, having a blank sheet, I'll go to a new sheet, delete the table. They have completely blank space where they can add in all of their media that they want to add. And they have more than just an A4 piece of paper, for example. That's another reason when I'd use numbers over uh, pages. So please now go onto the Apple Teacher website, go to badges for iPad, go to numbers, and have a read through of the information on there, and then have a go at doing the quiz. If you have any questions, please 
tweet me or send me a message on YouTube and I will get back to you as soon as possible.